Who will direct Avengers Secret Wars? Welcome back, you Marvel maniacs! While we're counting down the days until Black Panther Wakanda Forever hits theaters, we're also standing ever vigilant on our non-stop Kang watch. With the Ant-Man Quantumania trailer giving us our best look yet at the multiversal villain, we can't help but also look down the road to the end of Marvel's multiverse saga, specifically Avengers Secret Wars. Based on the 2015 comic book event series of the same name, Avengers Secret Wars will be the end game of phases four through six. With Kang the Conqueror being positioned as the big bad of this saga and the introduction of universe-ending incursion events in Multiverse of Madness, this film is poised to be Marvel's most ambitious crossover to date. And while we've previously speculated about who might comprise the Avengers lineup in a post-Endgame world, today we're wondering who might be at the helm of Secret Wars. For years, fans have been assuming that the Russo brothers would return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe to helm this specific project. After all, they've previously gone on record saying it was the only Marvel storyline they would want to direct if they returned. But that was then, and this is now. On Wednesday, in an interview with Variety, Joe Russo didn't entirely crush fans' hopes of an eventual return to the MCU, but it won't be anytime soon. Joe said, We're always talking. We'd need to see what would work. We won't be ready to do anything with Marvel until the end of the decade. And considering that Secret Wars hits theaters on May 1st, 2026, I'd say that rules them out for this potential directing gig. Besides, they're busy producing a live-action Hercules movie inspired by TikTok, whatever the hell that means. And with other fan favorites like James Gunn leaving Marvel for good to run DC Studios, and Taika Waititi presumably taking a detour to the galaxy far, far away for his mystery Star Wars movie, that leaves a massive question mark about who Kevin Feige might tap to direct one of their most important projects. So, so, who could help shepherd Earth's mightiest heroes into a battle for the fate of the multiverse itself? We have a few ideas. Given that this is the capstone of the multiverse saga and a truly massive undertaking, Marvel will most likely go with someone they've worked with before. Someone who understands how to create films on this scale and how to help pay off all the myriad storylines leading into this movie. Now, our first pick is Ryan Coogler. For my money, Ryan Coogler seems like the obvious choice to take the reins of Secret Wars. With Black Panther, Coogler created one of Marvel's most iconic films, and Wakanda Forever looks poised to expand the MCU's world building in a major way, especially with the introduction of Namor and the lost civilization of Talo Khan. Coogler has demonstrated that not only can he work within Marvel's massive sandbox, but he can also manage sprawling casts while eliciting terrific performances from his stars. After seeing what Coogler and his team did to bring Wakanda and Tala Khan to life, just imagine how they'll conceptualize the multiversal realms of Battleworld. Next up, we have Daniel Destin Cretton. After making his mark with Shang-Chi, Daniel Dustin Cretton's quickly becoming one of Kevin Feige's go-to creatives. Cretton is not only producing and directing the Yahya Abdul-Mateen II starring Wonder Man series, but also directing Avengers The Kang Dynasty as well. And with Kang as the ostensible big bad of the series, it makes sense to have someone like Cretton handling the film that sets up the events of Secret Wars to also helm the follow-up. After all, it is directly from the Marvel playbook. The Russo brothers did Infinity War and Endgame back-to-back. -back. Will this process kill Daniel Dustin Cretton? Possibly, but maybe he has a secret sibling that we don't know about to help share this burden. After that, we come to Nia DaCosta. While audiences may know DaCosta's work best from the Candyman reboot, she's also going to unite three of Marvel's most iconic heroines in the Marvels. The film will see Carol Danvers, Kamala Khan, and Monica Rambeau teaming up to presumably stop some sort of interstellar threat. Now, maybe that threat will be an incursion event, two universes in the multiverse on a collision course with each other, and that would help tee up some of the events of Secret Wars. So, while we haven't seen Nia DaCosta's MCU debut yet, there's a good chance that she's still in the running for Secret Wars. Next up is John Watts, a real dark horse option because he probably wants a nice long break from the Marvel Universe, the multiverse, and all things related to Peter Parker. Now, the director of the Tom Holland Spider-Man trilogy was originally set to also direct Fantastic Four before he departed that project. But given his incredibly successful work on the Spider-Man films, Feige would probably be interested in bringing Watts back into the fold for Secret Wars after he's had more time to recuperate. But then again, John Watts is currently working on Skeleton Key, the Jude Law starring Star Wars series, so his dance card might be even more full than Steve Rogers' was. 
Chloe Zhao. While Eternals is one of the more divisive entries in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it tackled some heady concepts with majorly cosmic implications. Academy Award winner Chloe Zhao also did her best to give the film a unique visual identity. And that sense of aesthetic homogeneity is something that many detractors typically rib Marvel for. So with Secret Wars meant to upend the Marvel Cinematic Universe as we know it, someone with Zhao's sensibilities could be perfect for the director's chair, that is, if she wants it. Sam Raimi. Last but not least, we come to someone who I absolutely don't think will direct this movie, but I wouldn't be upset if he did, and that is Sam Raimi. With Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Raimi gave us our fullest exploration of the Marvel multiverse to date. And given that Loki and Multiverse of Madness writer Michael Waldron is penning the script for Secret Wars, there would already be a creative shorthand between these two that could prove invaluable, especially for a film as ambitious in scope as this. And besides, this could be our best chance yet to get even more Pizza Papa back in our lives. Pizza Papa always gets paid. Anyway, folks, there you have it. Those are our best guesses for who Marvel might choose to tackle Avengers Secret Wars. Obviously, we couldn't fit everybody on this list, and I'm sure many of you are feverishly typing what about Peyton Reed down in the comments. But folks, tell us, who do you think should direct Avengers Secret Wars and why? Who do you think will be on the core Avengers team? Trust me, after 30 years down here, I've thought about it a lot. Let us know in the comments below, and for the latest and greatest in the world of pop culture, make sure you stay tuned to Nerdist.com.